What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel for some more Escape for Tarkov. Today we're going to be talking about the quest assessment part one, which is one of the requirements to unlock Lightkeeper. In order to complete this mission, you need to kill players just outside the bridge to the lighthouse on the map Lighthouse. The exact kill zone for this mission is on the Escape for Tarkov wiki. It's not 100% accurate, but it's close enough to give you a general idea of where you need to be to get those kills. And that also includes kills on top of the mountain, which is going to be one of the areas where you're going to be finding the most PMCs, either trying to do this mission or Shooterboard in Heaven. Now for this specific mission, because it's required to unlock Lightkeeper, many people have chosen to not do this quest legitimately and have gotten help from their community members, friends, or livestream viewers. And at face value, this quest does seem pretty daunting because the kill area is particularly small and requires a very specific and fast strategy with a little bit of luck as well. So because this mission was considered challenging or annoying by so many people, I decided to do it legitimately to see how long it would take me to complete this quest and also share some strategies that I used to help get these kills as quick as possible. So let's talk about the weapons. Obviously things like SR-25, RFB, G-28, those are going to be great because they shoot 308 and at this point you probably have peacekeeper level 4 so you're going to have access to m62 and m80 and maybe even m61s the significant majority of my kills were using 308 weapons but there are some honorable mentions here obviously the svd is a great choice if you don't want to use 308 all the time but i personally died to a variety of situations on my svd raids I'm not blaming the gun for that. It just could have been luck and misplays on my part. Another great choice is M995. I used it with an AK-101, and these are gonna deliver some amazing headshots. Just super crisp, very accurate, and incredibly reliable. The only catch is the ammunition availability is pretty low. So I was only able to get a few kills before I ran out, and that was basically it. Because I enjoyed the M9 and 5 round, I tried 545 BS for the similar idea for headshots. But because there's going to be a lot of situations where you're going to be fighting players at 200 meters away, the round actually let me down in one specific situation where the player was beyond 187 meters, which is the uh, maximum headshot distance for that round. And they were able to tank a headshot, survive, and leave the area. So I did lose a kill because of that. I tried BT, which works considerably better, but you also have less pen and it gives away your location. Seven and 40 would also be very interesting for this quest. I didn't use 7.60 by 39 BP very much, but here's what you want to look at. Go to a website like eft-ammo.com and any round that is capable of going through a class four helmet consistently at 200 meters is going to be great for this quest. There's so much variety in Escape from Tarkov now that I can go on and on about different weapons and different ammunition loadouts. That is going to work. Anything less than that, I do not recommend. I didn't use any SMGs, shotguns, or budget loadouts because my main goal was completing this as quick as humanly possible. And by doing that as fast as possible, I decided to use the FLIR. At this point, if you're doing assessment part one, you're going to have a barter from Mechanic, a barter on Jaeger, and the ability to purchase it from Jaeger for 630k. Now the barters range from 350 to 550k depending on the market and depending on which barter you choose to do. It's not going to be as expensive as you think, and whenever you die of a thermal, you could do a scav raid or two and quickly get the cash that you need to buy another one. If you are going to try to get this mission done as quick as possible, I think the thermal is essential because it's going to give you the ability to scan the mountain for snipers that are going to be camping your location and counter sniping them faster than they can peek you, which is super key. And you're going to be able to spot players that are sitting in the bushes, running through the foliage and pushing the beach in the landing stage immediately without actually having to glass and look through all the bushes with a regular optic. Next, let's talk about spawns. This is arguably the second most important thing that's going to allow you to get this done as quick as possible. If you get a spawn that's closer towards the water treatment, it's best to try to reset the raid as quick as possible. Most of the players that are going to be spawning around the lighthouse bridge are going to be working their way towards the good loot spawn locations like the chalets. Those kills, they're not going to count. So the longer it takes for you to get to that area, the less potential you're going to have to get kills for this quest. 
But if you want to take a look, you can actually see if there's anybody sniping on top of the mountain, which might get you a kill or two. But in my experience, more often than not, it was just a waste of time and I'd much rather just reset the raid. My favorite spawn was up near the chalet with the medical helicopter. I was able to quickly run over towards the mountain and frequently spot people that were either sitting in bushes getting into little fights, or just spawning and taking their time off of the beach. Spawning down at the bridge, I found was super dangerous and hella sketchy, and I would frequently just run towards the grouping of rocks that was towards shoreline, and hang out there and wait to see if anybody was going to snipe on top of the mountain, or move from the landing stage over to the cottage to loot. Now the rest of the video is going to be the kills that I actually got for assessment part one, including a really funny situation where I caught a group of players that were actually trying to cheese this quest down at the cottage. I had plenty of lucky moments and lots of unlucky moments along the way, but I feel like that was actually more fair and realistic on what you can actually expect while trying to do this mission. So with that being said, let's take a look at these kills that I got for assessment part one and it took me roughly 20 to 30 raids and about 15 hours of Tarkov gameplay to get this quest complete. I don't know if that's gonna count, but... He got sniped by somebody. Which is why he was healing. It counted! Nice! What's crazy, though, is with the red flares, I find I'm going to get more player scouts with that. I, I feel like I definitely need to give it a go, but... Yeah. Oh, there's someone right there. There we go. Yep. Oh! It's like I, there's an actual guy down there. Bro, are you serious? No way! Oh, what the fuck, man? I'm so pissed! He's probably healing up. Too bad I couldn't, like, spot... Oh, there he is. Got him. Ho, oh, ho, ho, thank God. His name was Sneaky Rat Goblin. 17 more to go, fellas. guy up on top of the mountain. Am I able to kill this guy? I don't think he's above me. I know where he is. Oh, there's a guy right there. Jesus Christ. One tapped him. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Actually, that could have been a player scav. Oh, fuck! Holy shit, there's a dude of a couch bag in the back. There's a, there's a couch bag in the back. That counts. That definitely counts because I killed somebody there before. Uh oh. 
Hey! Yeah, it's not... Not looking good. So, yo, can uh, anybody that watched Willers, what was the what was the general tips last night? Was he how fast was he resetting his raids? Very fast, instant. Willers said you could cheese it now. <laughs> no, 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 no. God, what the fuck? <gasps> yes! What were these guys doing? Were they doing it? Oh my God, they were. Someone is cheesing this. There must be a streamer cheesing it. They were all chilling and hanging, but then when they realized it wasn't me, they tried to kill me. It was either that or Grenadier. I can't believe it. That's amazing. How much are you paying them? Oh, 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 oh. That's, that's, that's the, that's the streamer right there, I imagine. Oh. Bro, I, I can't hit this guy. He's too much of a fucking... <laughs> he's, too, he's too slimy. Just get out, homie. Oh, it's all good, dude. I don't care. I can't believe we just got... I can't believe that happened. Oh, he's just, he's just like out here. Oh, he dropped his weapon. I need to talk to him. Hey! Hey, dude! Dude, are you, are you doing, are you doing assessment? Suppress those bitches! <laughs> are you nuts? Dude, what are you doing, did I just run into you and your boys doing assessment? Yeah? Oh, uh, I'm... Listen, I'm doing it too, dude. I, I, I appreciate it, but I understand. I'm sorry. <laughs> god damn. Oh my god. That is the best. That's insane. Oh no! I just got taken out by another dude. I think he was camping me out. That's fine. I don't care. That's fair. Player scav? I don't even care, dude. Don't even care. I just, I keep clipping on this tree. Got him. Beautiful. Finally a one tap with the Fleer. Yes, and it counted too. Oh, I feel like this dude was actually just doing shooter born in heaven. Oh, he killed another player. I think I just got one. That, that definitely wasn't a player scab or a scab, and he was shooting at somebody else. Oh, bro, I'm pretty sure he actually did kill this guy. Yep. Now, I'm pretty sure that's a scab. I'm pretty sure. 
It wasn't! It was a PMC! Yes! We got another one. So this guy... Ooh, that was a great shot by that guy. I gotta say. Ooh, yeah. I love how that guy's name is Judd TTV. Judd again? Nah, Judd doesn't have this name. But that's kind of weird that I killed a guy named Judd again. Oh. Okay, so... That's not going to count, but, you know, got to let him know. That might count. I'll check it after. This guy right there. That's a player for sure. Yes, chat. Yes. Boys, we're on 13 out of 20 right now. That's a class six rig. Yep, somebody is playing the mountain. My last bear kill for counteraction, boys. We got another one, fellas. Okay, so that's a player scav, unfortunately, chat. Okay, somebody is going up there. I think there's multiple, so that's good. That's good for me. They were moving towards... He had a fucking toss. His name was Chad Chad. Um, I think that was outside the zone. It, it was in the zone! It was in the auto zone! Oh my god, I cannot believe it. Bro, that's like right on the edge. Oh, he's level 55! Oh, I feel like I gotta get out with this guy's stuff. This guy's really geared. Oh, laser. Okay, I'm out of stamina. I thought he was looking at me, but they didn't see me. Two guys. Oh, no way. I went for the guy that wasn't metting first. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah, that was, okay, we're, we're, we're lucky we even made it here. We'll put it that way. Oh, there, yep. They're still moving over there. They might be moving this way. Here. I don't know if that was a player or not. Kind of seemed like it was. Boys, that was. We're two PMC kills away. Do I even have a nade? No, no nade.
Okay. That's... Should be another one. No! Oh, yeah, it was! It was! It was! No, no, we, we're 19 out of 20, boys. We're 19 out of 20. Don't rush it. I kind of need to because I'm going to get naped. There's a player shooting at me from behind. Actually, I actually don't know where this guy's shooting at me. You can kill me! I got assessment done! No idea. Doesn't matter. Enjoy it. Well, let's just say some of those kills weren't the most glorious or skillful, and especially the way I died at the very end. But I'm happy to get this done within a short period of time. It took me just over two sessions to get all the kills I needed for the mission. And I also am excited that uh, I can share with you guys some of the strategies that I use to get this mission complete. Some of the weapon choices and optical choices, as well as the spawn position and kill positions that I used to kill PMCs. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to my man Willers, who was in my chat. He was also doing his mission legitimately, and we shared some strategies and some thoughts uh, that worked out quite well, in my opinion. Um, and also, I just want to say I got nothing against the people that cheesed this mission. I understand tasks are pretty lame and boring sometimes, and people just want to get through them as quick as possible. But I also wanted to share what it actually would be like for most people that want to unlock Lightkeeper, because I can speak for myself that it's my main goal, this Tarkov wipe, uh, that's different from getting the cap container and a lot of the people that were doing it a few weeks ago They didn't actually do it legitimately So it would have been nice to actually see what life is like doing assessment part one Without calling upon thousands of people to join your raid and get easy free kills as daunting as the task is It is obtainable for the common Tarkov player and I hope this video helps you along the way let me know what you think in the comment section below. Definitely subscribe here for some more Escape for Tarkov videos. Check out the live stream Monday through Friday starting at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll catch you all in the next video.